What's going on guys, it's Ryan Huber. So as of Friday, I evacuated Egypt and made it out right before everything totally hit the fan with this coronavirus stuff. It's been absolutely crazy. It's had a big impact on aviation and I plan to make a video about exactly the impact of the coronavirus on aviation up until this point. But basically, exactly what I do, I work for a Part 91 International Flight Department in Cairo, Egypt. I'm one of four American pilots there that crew a Gulfstream private jet. And I work a 45 day on, 45 day off rotation. So we spend roughly six weeks on, six weeks off. And in the latter portion of my time there, we really didn't travel a whole lot at all. I only did one trip in my entire rotation due to this coronavirus scare. Uh, but in the last couple of weeks, as I was getting ready to go home, things started to get really bad. And I was scheduled to go home on Monday, March 14th, if I'm not mistaken. And as of March 11th, I'd already booked my trip to leave Monday. And March 11th, the Wednesday of the week before, Trump made a, a statement and issued the European travel ban, banning travel from Europe to the United States for 30 days starting Friday at midnight, which was pretty concerning. I got a lot of texts about it because they're like, you need to get home now. You can't travel back on Monday because they're gonna lock everything down Friday. Uh, so it ended up that that was all countries in continental Europe. The UK was excluded from that and American citizens could still travel. So it only applied to foreign nationals. But even with that, I was still pretty scared uh, about all the air travel, about what this would do. Uh, and if, if it would get worse, if other countries would follow suit, if the European Union would ban travel altogether, if Egypt would close its borders, if Egypt would ban travel, which eventually it has. So I decided to make the decision to leave Friday. I left Friday, March 13th, Friday the 13th, to leave Egypt right before all this uh, came about. I wanted to get out before the travel ban even happened Friday at midnight, even though I am a US citizen and I could get back. So I left my rotation a little bit early. Um, there wasn't any flights scheduled. Our principal didn't have any flights going on. So I, I told my chief pilot, I need to get out of here. I think it's the best, safest thing to do to leave early, which I did. And um, overall, the travel experience, I got out just in time. It was pretty easy. Leaving Cairo, I left the hotel about three in the morning. I had a 6.40 flight, British Airways, Cairo to London, and then London to Phoenix. So I had the easiest flight that I could make with only one connection being in London. So I tried to stack everything up best in my favor. It worked out pretty well. Connecting in Heathrow was very routine. And then re-entry into the US was really routine as well. I'd never traveled directly to Phoenix through the customs in Phoenix Sky Harbor, but it was a pretty smooth process. We got through in about 30 minutes and we didn't face some of the struggles that people have uh, only days after the weekend after I got back Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I saw videos and things that I'll punt here of people at O'Hare in Chicago, stacked up thousands of people waiting to get through customs, virus screenings, people getting tested for the virus, people getting their thermometer checked. So fortunately, I did not have to deal with any of that. Uh, I got out just in time before all that madness went on. And then into the weekend and into Monday, the European Union announced a ban on all non-essential travel and uh, countries such as Spain, I believe France, Italy, and uh, some other countries are on total lockdown where you can't even leave your house uh, unless it's absolutely essential. So it's pretty scary. And obviously that makes connections or flights and travel into those regions almost impossible. Uh, so I got out just in time. Egypt also, while this was happening, uh, started to have outbreaks. The Egypt cruise ship, the MS Asara, 45 people tested positive for the disease. It was 18 US citizens, as well as some foreigners, and I believe 12 crew on this uh, Nile cruise ship, tested positive for the coronavirus, including 35-year-old Matt Swider of New York, uh, who kind of had a famous little Twitter blow up uh, because he was a US citizen that tested a false positive for the disease, but was placed into a Egyptian military quarantine in Marsa Matru. So with all these things going on, I'm glad I made it out. I'm happy to be in the United States and safe. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty going on as far as aviation, as far as my job, as far as everything right now. The stock market's tanking. 
uh, and it's becoming, uh, it's a crazy time, but all we can do is make the most of it. I'm glad I'm not quarantined in Egypt. I'm glad I made it back before all these European Union travel restrictions, the US travel ban, some of these quarantines and lockdowns going on. Uh, so yeah, I left early Friday and made it out of Egypt, but uh, if you plan on leaving Egypt now, uh, today is Tuesday, and I believe as of Thursday, I'll post it right here. Uh, if it is true, uh, Thursday, Egypt will be closing its borders for all travel, so you can't get into or out of the country. Uh, there is cases of the coronavirus spreading throughout Egypt, uh, as well as almost all the rest of the world. So I'm happy I made it home, and all we can do is make the best out of this situation and this time. Uh, as pilots especially, there's a lot of uncertainty, but all we can do is hope for the best, keep working hard, and soar to our full potential. So, glad to be home. God bless America, and I'll see you guys in the next video.